Ready? I'm ready, yeah. Okay. What do you love about Emily the most? Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I love the way we, we just get on so well together. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. What is Emily's worst habit? Um, having an opinion on absolutely everything when she hasn't sometimes just hasn't got an absolute clue about what she's talking about. Fair enough. What would be the first thing Emily would do if she wins the lottery? Um what would she do if she won the lottery? She for sure she'd go shopping and buy buy shoes, probably. I would say. What is the worst holiday. present? She'd go on a holiday. She'd book a holiday, for yeah, sure. Definitely. She'd book a holiday. Okay. What is the worst present you've ever bought, Emily? Fucking, fucking hat. This fucking fur hat. But this fur hat from Portobello I got absolutely turned over. It was about 500 quid. And I sent a picture of it to everyone, and basically everyone more or less said it was shit. What is yours and Emily's song? Sing a bit of it to me. Um, I would have to say Rule the World by Take That because it was the first sort of thing we did together and you really want me to sing, uh -huh. really? Can you sing with me? No. Um, um, you bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Yeah, you and me, we can light up the sky. If you stay with me, girl, we can rule the world. What nicknames do you have for each other? Um, wow. Um, I... Uh, we we don't really have have many nicknames. Maybe 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 I'll just call her Fuller. Do I have a nickname for Emily? No. Do you know what? I I, I don't I don't think we have. Just Fuller. I hope I haven't got that wrong. Would you say you are a leg, a bum, or a boob man? Definitely a leg man. How many pairs of Louboutins does Emily own? I she wouldn't. I wouldn't know. If I said two, it's probably it's probably six or seven, and I just don't know about them. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. She's got a few stashed here. Do an impression of Emily's dance moves. stand up for this because it involves feet. Okay. She does this. That's it. Thanks. When did you first say I love you to each other and who said it first? Emily definitely said it first. Um, I think I think I said something like on the phone um, um I said it was something like, I think I'm there, or something like, I implied that I, I loved her, and then we sort of like, we said it, and I can't, it was pretty, pretty, pretty early on, but then, you know, I love Smoothie. her. Smoothie. I loved her. I love her. <laughs> no, I mean, I loved her from, from very early on, you know, I knew, I just knew. Have a good to the camera. I just knew. <laughs> How long have you been, had you been dating before you slept together? We didn't date before we slept together. I mean, it was within 48 hours. Her mum will enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say to Emily's mum? No, she was in safe hands. She was in the loft, crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what pose does Emily strike when taking a picture? Um, lots of teeth. She's got like a cartoon-shaped mouth. And... <laughs> And it's worse when she's got red lipstick on. Do an impression. 
it's impossible. You need <laughs> Emily's mouth. But everyone will know about it. It's sort of like, it just, just grows. It just grows. If you, John, could have a night of passion with any celebrity, who would it be? A night of passion. You'd sleep with them. That's a real thinker. That's a thinker. Can we come back to that one? Yeah. It's up there. Fucking weirdo. Why don't you like her? Who's Kirsten Stewart? Out of Twilight. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. She's just a bit sort of moody and dark. Who do I like? I would say, who's that Latino girl that was in um, Hitch? Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes. Okay. She's 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 a good looking girl. Are we recording this? Thanks. <laughs> so Eva Mendes, yeah. Okay, I'd say Eva Mendes, yeah. What's your most embarrassing memory involving Emily? Um, we were in Amsterdam fairly early on. And me, embarrassing for me or embarrassing for Emily? Just embarrassing. Very early on, before Christmas, before she went away, um, we were in Amsterdam. Small room, bathroom, very, very close to the, to the bed. And something wasn't right with me. So, <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning, I went to the bathroom and snuck out fairly... <laughs> it's not that bad. Fairly, fairly, um, like, quietly... But I was in the bathroom, I wasn't feeling right, as you can imagine, I'm sitting on the toilet, and the bathroom just was covered in mirrors, so like ceiling, walls, the whole thing, and I forgot to shut the door properly, and it was one of them where Emily crept out of bed, and she's like, are you okay? And I was just like, I was, I'm fine, I'm fine, and I'm trying to go for the door, and like, it was just one of them moments where we didn't really know each other as well as we... we I have yeah. hoped at that moment in time. <laughs> and we, I went back to bed and we, we didn't talk. <laughs> I felt embarrassed. Thanks, John. Um, final question. What's the strangest place you and Emily have ever had sex? Um, okay, it's a little bit, little bit, little bit disrespectful, but um, we went for a walk on... At J uh, John and Amy's wedding, very late on, very drunk, everyone was having a good time, and we went for a walk in the field, and had uh, the, yeah, we had sex in the field. Sorry, Amy. Thanks, John. You've been That's a really right. good sport. You're free to go.